after a not so prolonged series of court hearings former nigerian deputy senate president ike ekwere madu and his wife beatrice and of course the middleman the doctor identified as dr obina or better have been jailed for organ trafficking plot after bringing a man to the uk from lagos Welcome to this channel guys and if you know anything about what um, is happening in the country you must have been aware or must have heard at some, one point or the other in the past few months that former deputy senate president in Nigeria Ikwe Ikwere Madu and his wife are actually you know being tried in the United um, Kingdom UK for allegedly um trying to traffic someone's organ apparently they took a young man about 21 or 25 because even his age then caused a lot of you know chaos in the community people saying that oh the man knew the, the young man knew what he wanted to go and do in the uk because he came Ekwere Madu said that they told him that he was going to come and donate his organ for their ailing daughter, and um, that 25-year-old daughter, and that he knew what was going into, but because he just wanted to get to the UK, he got to the UK, he turned his back and then, you know, told officials and, you know, police officers that he didn't know what he was doing in the hospital. They just told him that he wanted to give him scholarship. Remember that just here? And they've been tried. The lawmakers in Nigeria, senators, all of those persons have written to the UK consulates trying to say that, oh, they should be diplomatic about it they shouldn't you know jail aka query madu because of his position in the country and all of those things but the uk judiciary system has said whoa people are talking in your own room in your own you're talking to yourself because over here justice actually prevails regardless of who you are you are still under the law and the law does not support you trying to traffic organ i mean it's a very you know it's a criminal offense over there and so the judge has done the sentencing after you know adjourning the case several times they have been found guilty senator ekwere madu who is 60 years old and his wife who is 56 and um, wanted the organ um for their 25 year old daughter sonia that i mentioned and the couple's trial at the they, they actually held the trial at the old bailey now the pair that is the husband and wife and dr obeta who is 50 were convicted previously of conspiring to exploit the man for his kidney that's the story i told you now uh -huh. and it is said to be the first of such case under modern slavery laws wow nigerians <laughs> apparently this is the first time it is even happening in the uk since they modified their slavery laws now Ike Ekwere Madu was described by the judge as the driving force throughout was sentenced to nine years and eight months in prison now I to my understanding I know that if you are sentenced to court sometimes the um especially if you have like so many counts not just one count um the the, the terms will run um concurrently and I think it's even speeding you are not going to actually spend nine years I think you're going to spend lesser than nine years but you understand i think that it just educates me in the comment section is it going to actually be there for nine years if you can't nine this is 20 or well, 2023 if you add 90 this is 2030 something before this man is going to be out oh, my goodness that's harsh and he's 60 he's going to be about 670 ah oh, that's serious so honestly if you look at it like that but like is it is it going to be something like maybe five years or something or is he even able to appeal this can he get out on parole who knows i mean if you know the into to if you know like the the details and the nitty-gritty of this old case and the sentencing in the comment section please educate me educate everybody so that we will not be saying the wrong thing when we are discussing these things you know of course this is something you should share with your friends colleagues topic of conversation because in fact comment section is already comment sanctioning you know on social media platforms people are already saying different things saying oh even nigeria this guy you know think it would actually have succeeded in think in the uk thinking that this is nigeria where because of your political status or your status social social class you can get away with a lot of things especially with nigerians you know lawmakers writing to the uk to say they should not sentence him like how do you think you can't even have a say in that kind of situation that's what people are saying in the comment section i mean so if you're having this discussion and you get more information please educate us in the comment section you understand now let's continue talking about your sentencing while a query Madu bagged nine years and eight months in prison. Um, Dr. Obeta was sentenced to 10 years. I mean, even the doctor got longer after the judge found that he had targeted the 
potential donor who was young, poor, and vulnerable. Apparently, it was even the person that introduced um, them to be the the, um, the the victim in this situation. That, that's just something else. But Beatrice Ekuremadu uh, was jailed uh, for four years and six months due to uh, more limited involvement. But who is going to take care of their daughter, Sonia, now that mother and father are going to be in jail? Will they be able to access their phone? Because, you know, shortly after their arrest, Sonia came on social media to say please guys i need somebody willing to donate their kidney for me i'm on dialysis this one that one that one and did she even eventually get a donor um if you know that also in the comment section let us know did she get a donor and now that you know she's been living off her parents of course she has her own education she's doing well for herself as a person but since she given a situation saying that she is um at the moment ill i i want to believe that her funding would our parents would be funding her right would have been funding the health bills and all of those things but now that these men are uh, these couple are, are in prison now who is going to be taking care of our financial needs and you know as regarding our health bills and all that you know she's in the uk i don't know how the insurance is going to go well the health system in the uk would they be able to still you know with their insurance if they have a, a insurance in the uk will they still cover even though they are in jail I have a lot of questions. Mm, this is quite interesting. And the that sentence was actually televised, and Mr. Justice Johnson uh, recognized um, Ike Ekuremadu's substantial fall from grace. He said, People trafficking across international borders for the harvesting of human organs is a form of slavery. Their poor victim, a poor street trader in Lagos, was brought to the UK to provide a kidney for the Equire Madu's daughter. He fled in for he fled in fear of his life and walked into a police station exactly a year ago to report what had happened after the Royal Free Hospital called the out on the private eighty thousand um, pounds procedure. So you understand all the oh because then people are like, Oh, it's the young man that just wanted fame, he just wanted to use them to get to the UK, he had his own plan and all but now that they've been found guilty i think that will put to rest to all the other assumptions and theories that the young man was aware and all of those things because apparently he's been able to prove it to the courts that he was not aware of what he was going to do and when he realized what was going to happen he worked to the police station to say guys something is about to happen people are about to take my kid but you mean you have two kidneys did they promise to pay him i don't really know but yeah that's just the summary of the story the aquarium adults have now been jailed the year-long case has ended and let's just see how the whole thing will proceed let's see how the nigerian government will require and um, well will, re will respond to these and because a lot of comments actually like i mentioned people have been saying different things on social media from people saying oh this is good let them know that they are not above um the judicial system so somebody saying that ah, we don't mean anything to countries outside africa or in this case it's a true is the proof because this is not to excuse Ike on his crimes though but we could have re reached an agreement with um the uk government for leniency but they ignored every appeal that we made so they don't really rate you but babajide is now saying that your political class runs to the west you political class run to the west for everything education healthcare, properties dual nationalities for your kids but when they reach fairness and justice you know no one call it no nah the law is the law you know somebody said i don't even feel sorry for any of them they should add 10 years more so lots of mixed reactions um you know from netizens from nigerians concerning the equity situation i'd love to hear from you though let me know what your thoughts and opinions are concerning these i'm going to see you in the next video until then guys stay glued to this channel by subscribing and clicking on the bell icon that will pop up after subscription that is what is going to let you know when we have interesting just for your doing pleasure i'll see you in the next one until then guys bye